We're here at the Talladega Super Speedway for the Best Buy Cup Series 500. Starting third today, we have debutant Kurt Busch in his 78 Furniture Row Chevrolet. Starting directly behind him is the 24 of Jeff Gordon. He's had a pretty bad season, but he looks to rebound here today. Brad Keselowski is our points leader. He starts eighth today, but has drivers like... Denny Hamlin, who starts fourth today, and Kyle Busch, who starts seventh today, just slightly behind him in the points. Here at Talladega, who's going to win the craziest race of the season? On row one, we have the five car of Casey Kane, the 14 of Tony Stewart. Starting off in row two, we have the 78 of Kurt Busch and the 11 car of Denny Hamlin. Rolling off the field in row three, we have the 24 of Jeff Gordon, the 16 of Greg Biffle. Starting in row four, we have the 18 car of Kyle Busch and the 2 car of Brad Keselowski. Starting in row five, we have the 9 of Marcus Ambrose and the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Starting off in row six, we have the 48 of Jimmy Johnson and the 99 of Carl Edwards. In row seven today, we have the 56 of Martin Truex Jr. and the 39 car of Brian Newman. Rolling off the field in row eight, we have the 10 car of Dan Kilpatrick and the 15 of Clint Boyer. In row 9 today, we have the 22 of Joey Logano and the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. In row 10, we have the 20 of Matt Kenseth and the 43 of Eric Almarola. And rounding out the field in row 11, we have the 42 of Juan Pablo Montoya and the 1 car of Jamie McMurray. The field's coming up turn 4, we're green flag racing here at Talladega. Casey Kane leads him down the back straightaway and Hamlin jumps to the outside. He's going to sling around the outside, but Kurt Busch takes the lead on the inside. Four wide racing here at Talladega on board with Joey Logano. Coming up turn 4, we've got a crash, huge crash, Marcus Ambrose upside down. Huge crash off of turn 4 here at Talladega, Johnson down pit road. Bunch of cars involved. These guys will mostly be out of the race. The championship leader is involved, and we're back underway on lap three. Kyle Busch going to dive to the inside, followed by his teammate, Denny Hamlin, and they're going to lead the lap, and now Kurt Busch slings all the way to the outside, pushed by Tony Stewart. They're going to go to the lead. Now, here, Kurt Busch is going to lead the lap. We're on lap five. Tony Stewart draws even with him on the outside and looks to pull away. He, he's going to clear him off a turn. Off into the turn one and two, and he's going to take the lead. Denny Hamlin looking on the outside of Kurt Busch now with three laps to go. Who's going to win the race here? Here comes Kurt Busch on the inside. He's going to take the lead. He gets loose, and Tony Stewart's going to take the lead, coming to the white flag. Now Hamlin around on the outside with Kyle Busch in second. White flag in the air. Will Kyle Busch make a move? There he goes to the outside. He takes the lead, and Stewart gets into him. Kyle Busch is around, and Tony Stewart wins at Talladega. And there's a crash in the back. Matt Kenseth and Jamie McMurray involved. Now let's take another look at that crazy finish. Well, it looks like here Kyle Busch takes the lead. Tony Stewart takes second, coming off of four. Busch blocks Stewart and gets put in the wall. And Tony Stewart takes victory here at Talladega. His first win of the season that keeps him in a strong title contender. Jason Trost gets the victory. Alan Cavagnero finishes second. Sterling Lynch third. Garrett Sidner finishes fourth. Minus up in his debut finishes fifth. Kenyon Straight five is sixth. Carter Fargo finishes seventh. Johnny Mills is eighth. Finishing in ninth today, we have the 80 of, eight of Matt Benass. And rounding out the top ten is the 24 of Ian Dunna. Derek Benass is in 11th. Matthew Fuller comes 12th. NASCAR Star Motion 13th. Jacob Budd 14th. Donna Cavagnero finishes 15th to round out the top 15. And then Ralph Sidner will finish 16th. Joe Bud 17th. Nick Corwin is 18th. Mark Cavagnero 19th. Matt Damon 20th. And championship leader LJ Mills finishes 21st. Austin Nathan comes home last in 22nd. For the standings here with two races to go, Alan Cavagnero is the points leader by four points over Sterling Lynch. Only the top six are eligible for the championship with one race to go. Garrett Sinner is tied with second, and Jason Tross right behind them in fourth. Just outside the chase, Johnny Mills has 82. He's tied with Derek Manass at 82. Matthew Fuller in 11th with 81. Then there's a seven-point drop to Mark Cavagnero in 12th with 74 points, and Ian Dutta in 30, 13th with 71st. And at the bottom of the standings, Ralph Sidner is 16th with 56. He's had a pretty bad season. Same with Clint Boyer, who after making the chase last year is now in 17th. Not a good year for Dale Earnhardt Jr. or the Ganassi cars as well. We'll see you next time from Irwin.